What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and it's time for the ACC Conference Championship game between the Clemson Tigers and the Miami Hurricanes. The winner will become the championship of the ACC Conference and to move on to a BCS Bowl game, I'm not sure which one it is, but we'll find out when everything unfolds here in Conference Championship Week. Let's go. One second, I know you guys like stat updates and so here you can see that Sammy Hollins has already eclipsed last year's numbers in almost every category but interceptions and forced fumbles. He already has 64 tackles on the year, 3 sacks a pick, and 3 forced fumbles. Here comes Clemson and the ACC title game will be decided in the snow. So I think we have a slight advantage over the Hurricanes being from Miami in uncharted territory here in the Winter Wonderland. And so ACC title game, let's get into it. I'm a big fan of these snow games. I'm also a big fan of playing with an early lead. Thank you Cole Stout and the offense for supplying us with a 7-0 lead to protect. And now on the first, oh, you got lucky that your friend was there to block. And on second down and seven, there's the man in motion. And now back to pass, there's a slant, it's caught, first down, Hurricanes. New set of downs, no, gonna pass again. And pass over the middle, that's once again a slant for a first down, Hurricanes move the chains again. Ooh, we're blitzing, and off the edge, come on, are they gonna go deep? There's the deep ball, and Sammy, no! It's so hard to get a position with a stupid reaction time! I can't blame that one solely on reaction time, though. That was just ugly coverage. They had a penalty, though, while Sammy was off the field, at least. So maybe redemption? Ah, not on this play. And I was just playing the Blitz of the League 2 live stream, so I was like, oh, I can hit the receiver. No, wait, it's actual football rules. Come on. Oh, no! I was kind of cover one of those inside guys, and they set the outside guy in a deep in, which was a really good play call, actually. And it's a touchdown for the Hurricanes, they tied up. Man, a rough day in coverage already, and they're back in Clemson territory. I gotta step it up. First and ten. And, come on, over the middle, there's the short pass. They're gonna go for yards after the catch, and they will get the first down. The quarterback is Steven Morris as we near the end of the first quarter. Come on, short, shallow zone right here. Perfect for a co covering the slant, and they don't run one. Instead, Morris to the end zone, and Miami is back on the scoreboard with the go-ahead touchdown. That was wide open. And I think the offense just turned it over again. What a disaster this is turning into after an early lead. And we got to get the ball back. We got to get a big play to turn the momentum around. Come on, stack in the box, and now there's the toss outside. Here's the chance, Sammy, there we go. Clean tackle, a loss of three. They're punching up over there, and now here's the sweep, and he's gonna cut to the inside. No first down on their well out of field goal range in the snow, so I think we held him. At midfield, come on, Cole, hit your boy Sammy Watkins. I, I keep, oh my goodness. Whenever I watch them, they do a stupid run play. What do you do on third down and 12? Come on, Cole. The offense has to get something going. No turnovers at the very least. Sammy, hot, oh my goodness. With Hopkins, Watkins, and Hollins, I cannot keep things straight. So, dump off over the middle, and that will not be over for the first down, but is this no man's land where you go for it? Oh, it's a fake punt pass? Whose idea was this? The punter has all the time in the world. He fires and... There was no Clemson player in sight. What did I just witness? I don't have words to express what just happened. Oh my goodness, just don't ever do that again. Ever. All oh, these slants are killing us. We gotta help, we gotta hit the linebackers to help out more. Or jam them better on the outside. Come on, here's the deep ball. Here it comes. And to the end zone. Intercepted, thank you. And the... We'll have it at the, like the eight yard line. It's better than nothing. Stout hit Watkins for a 30 yard gain, but now third down and 10 again for the Tigers. If you run a draw or something stupid, I'll, I'll explode. Okay, pass to the outside. That's a nice play. Now we draw up the good ones. And now second down and 10 and Stout's back to pass. Only 13 seconds to go in the first half. And this one's almost tipped and almost caught. Would have gotten the Tigers in field goal range. 
Third down, Stout needs yards, and the dump off I'm okay with there, a little five yard curl route, that's cool. That's good for you. Hey, it could have been 21 to seven, but we had a clutch turnover, and now with the field goal up and good, it's 14 to 10 with two seconds to go in the half. All right, I can't get beat deep again. This has been happening way too often. Oh, flag. At first, that was a fumble, but... All right, they're going to be called for holding. I'm cool with that. And now we got the man blitz. And there's the toss to the outside. Wide open for Sammy Hollins to kind of make a tackle. I'm playing soft. They can get 18 yards. I'm not letting them get 19, though. Uh, here's the deep ball. He wants it. Pass to the outside, and it's intercepted. Turn it around, get the block set up. Sammy needs a breather. Get the first down, no three and outs. You're gonna make the defense tired. Cole, middle, caught, and a yard or two shy. Well, we ended up going for it, and Stout ran for seven. Humphreys caught a 21. Howard got seven more, and now we're in the five yard line. And on first and goal, it's an option. Pitch out to the right, and we'll lose a couple. Come on, Stout, out of the shotgun. No draw. All right, here's a sweep, and once again, no gain. No sweeps, no draws, no jet sweeps. Just, no, throw it. We got to the one-yard line, though. The ultra-aggressive play calling. Fourth and goal. Here's the handoff. No! That's, no! Blown opportunity, that's all that was. We're down by four still. Here's a handoff, and now they're safe. Second down and five. Three wide, it's a pass. Outside maybe, middle, caught. Oh, I missed, and then I got him. We're nearing the fourth quarter. We don't want Miami to have a long drive here. Second and five, handoff, trying to bounce it outside, and there's the stout run defense showing up for a loss of two. And third down and seven. Ten seconds to play in the third quarter. Come on, stop them here. Put the ball back in the hands of the offense. They're going to take their time. They're going to snap it. There it is. Morris back to throw. Over the middle. It's nearly intercepted. And that will bring up fourth down. And on third down and 11, it's a short dump off. And that's just going to be a three and out. And the ball's going back to Miami. Down by four. The offense needs our help. Hand off. Come on. Oh, no, I ran past him. That should have been a six-yard gain. Now second down and four. Makes an adjustment, and now here's the handoff. Up the middle. Only a gain of two. Third and short. All right. I smell a run again. Come on. Don't let him go. Oh, it's a play action. Out to the outside, and it is a first down. That's a very good play call, actually. I like that one. Now they want to spread it out. Maybe to spread out our defense so they can run that sweep. Now well, they bring a tight end in motion. It's got to be a pass or a draw. Yeah, it's a pass. And the quarterback takes off. There's Morris up the middle. Let the quarterback fumble. That's a game of six. We don't have much leeway now. Under three minutes, the running clock. Here goes the play clock down. It's a pass. Don't want to get beat deep, though. And under. Oh, that's a nice catch. Sammy puts him down, but it's a first down for Miami. And now out of the single back. Man, three wide. Are they running out of this? They have to be. We're going to have to start using timeouts and everything to stop this clock. And there's the hand up, up the middle. There we go. One yard loss. And now second down and 11. Here's the sweep to the outside. More lost yardage. That's a loss of four. I'm watching for the sweep to the outside and I'm blitzing. Come on, Sammy. Oh, it's a pass. It's Sammy. Oh, it was almost a sack fumble. That close. Good zone coverage? Um, I was blitzing. Huh. We need a touchdown. We have 90 seconds to do it, Cole. This is all on you. Over the middle. There you go. Drags and runs after the catch. That's what I like. First and 10. Here we go, Cole. Good protection. Middle caught again. First down, Clemson. Out of the shotgun on second down and 10. Under a minute to play. Uh-oh, Cole's in trouble. He goes down. It's a loss of six. And now hurrying it back up. People gotta get in position. Out of the gun, trips left. 38 seconds, oh no, don't say false start. No. Now third and 21, 38 seconds. Come on, Cole. And out, floating into the outside, almost picked its fourth and forever. How can this play not be a deep ball to Sammy Watkins? I'm not, I don't even see him. Oh, don't. 
I am less speechless. You just did a play action. Miami will take a knee, and they are the ACC Conference champions. They just knocked us off, and that was the most ridiculous play calling I have ever seen. Congratulations to the Hurricanes. They win the ACC title, and now Clemson is left to see what bowl they'll end up in after this four-point loss. Yeah, this is quite disappointing. Alfred Blue is the Heisman Memorial Trophy winner of 2013, representing LSU, and now we'll find out where Clemson will be in their bowl game. The Clemson Tigers will take on the Vanderbilt Commodores in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. It's a big drop-off from the national title game a year ago, and look at this. Kirk Herbstreit is predicting an upset with Vanderbilt going over Clemson, even though they're not ranked, but... He must not be too confident after that last showing. And, hey, their quarterback actually has good numbers and ours. Uh, not that great. They're okay. There is the results of the entire season for us. We had three losses, and all of them were games where we just struggled to really score. I mean, the most we scored in a loss was 12 points. And Cole Stout had his moments, though. I mean, he has a great ratio. He has 16 to 5, but 16 touchdowns in a 12-game season is not impressive. Alright, so in the next video, we'll have Vanderbilt and Clemson for the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.